Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here. It's a new dad shirt and it's a new day here in Animal Crossing. Honestly, I've just been sat here and listening to like the wind breeze by and the calm little soothing KK Slider guitar for like the last 15 minutes. But we are back. It is day three, technically day, yeah, day three of our adventure and I am making slow progress. I need to do more, which thankfully, I'm recording this on Monday, I know you guys are seeing it Tuesday, um, but I'm gonna give you a reminder that I am gonna be streaming some of Animal Crossing and that took place last night. So hopefully the next video that you guys see will have a little bit more of a progression and I will try and keep you updated as best as I can for all of you viewers here on YouTube but I feel like our first port of call like every single day needs to be the residence services because we can talk to Tom we can see what's going on we can see what's a cracker lacking ah Molly hello hello what would you like to talk to me about I'm all ears so we still need to rack up the 5,000 nook miles to pay off our first loan uh, but let's ask him what we should do right now that is the question by the way thank you for finding a place for blathers to set up but you're looking for a practical suggestion well i don't mean to rush you but there is the small matter of your move-in fees putting in some work to chip away at those is always time well spent if you ask me or and did you know that you can earn miles simply by learning new diy recipes just talk to timmy if you're looking to purchase some recipes i actually do need to talk to timmy because i got some stuff to sell. So let's uh, sell some of these off. We're gonna sell the shell. I already have a white common butterfly and a tiger butterfly and a yellow butterfly for blathers. So we're gonna sell off our shells and also this mesh cap because let's be real, I'm never ever gonna wear it in my life. So I played none of this off screen, which is really, really upsetting, but I had a lot to do yesterday. I have a lot to do this week, actually. Um, you know, self-isolation just means that we apparently want to get all of our house chores done, so that's fun. And, ooh, seller of unwanted stuff. We are on 3,250, so we still have a fair way to go with Nook Miles, but let's talk to Tim because Tom told me to. So let's go, what's for sale? Uh, we have an oil barrel and a lawn chair. Oh my God, it's in the British colors as well, but it looks like I should be part of the Brexit party if I buy that, so maybe I want to avoid it. Um, flimsy axe, flimsy watering can, slingshot, DIY for beginners. Okay, okay, we have an axe. We have a watering can as well. We don't have a slingshot. So let's buy the slingshot recipe. I'll buy it. All right. And I think I might also just get the starter DIY for beginners. It's a digital DIY recipe book. That's 480 bells. I'll buy it. I don't really have anything else to spend my bells on right now, considering our first loan is in Nook Miles. So let's just get DIY for beginners and then at least we can craft some stuff and get up on Nook Miles that way as well. Even more now with your new recipes. Thank you so much. Uh, no, I'm not gonna get the lawn chair. I might get that on stream later tonight. My back might be back to see you, Timmy. <laughs> but let's go down and first time buyer. Okay, let's collect those 300 nook miles. Okay, we're all just on like the island grind, you know? We're waking up bright and early every day. Not really, it's 2 p.m. as I'm recording this. Almost 3 p.m. So this is not the early rise and grind. But I am gonna have to do some early videos of this. If I wanna catch like specific fish, there are specific places that you can catch fish. There are specific seasons where you can catch fish. And there are also very specific times of the day where you can also so uh, catch fish. Old fashioned wash tub, a stone stool. Um, we have the ax. Oh, we need to learn the other thing that we just bought. So let's learn the slingshot. Let's see what we need for that. Hopefully it's just like twigs because I have a lot of twigs. I'm fairly sure my hay fever has kicked in. Ever since Animal Crossing came out, weirdly, 
I feel like I've been suffering with hay fever. My eyes like keep running and they're quite crusty when I wake up, which sounds disgusting. I need hardwood. Um, and my nose is so itchy. I can't tell if it's like the sea breeze of Animal Crossing is affecting me IRL and making me feel as if I have hay fever. <gasps> we got our money thing, but we don't have a shovel right now. Oh shoot, I forgot who we get the shovel off. Oh, we need the shovel recipe ASAP because that's our golden, I was gonna say golden hole, <laughs> which just is wrong. Um, but yeah, we can basically dig this up for a thousand bells and we can also plant some bells and make a money tree. Okay, there was hardwood somewhere around my island, but I may as well catch these bugs whilst they're here, just so that we can get some extra money. I keep wanting to, God damn it, Axe. Why would you do that? Oh, no, nah, sorry. Ooh, did I get nook miles for something breaking? Oh no, you got the bug. You got the bug. 300 miles, thank you. We need just over, <gasps> wait, we got more. A thousand miles to go um, to pay off our loan, which is gonna be exciting because that means we get a house instead of a tent, which is, I think so, anyway. I think we can upgrade to a house, I should know. All right, where's this hardwood? I know I had some. There you are. I think I'm gonna chop some more trees. That's my fishing rod. Here's my ax. One, two, three. Thank you very much. I'm just gonna chop one, two, three, and then pick it up like when I wanna pick it up. Hey, you really do get nook miles for everything, man. You are gonna notice that when you play the game. You get nook miles for so much when you first start out, but they do go up pretty quick. Like the increments that you have to like go up in, they fly up pretty quickly. But I am pretty chill on this island. I feel like I've rushed through my personal one a little bit. Where is this one? I'm really like taking my time. Also, if you guys have any questions about Animal Crossing, then please do not hesitate to ask me and I will get back to you in the comments. I know someone asked, how do you creep up on a bug? And you actually hold down the A button and that allows you to like sneakily creep up on a bug so that you're, um, you're not scaring them away. So I don't have a net right now, but you basically hold A and then you walk a little bit slower and the bugs won't be able to see you. But if you do it for too long, the bugs will run away. So try not to do it for too long. Um, okay, what did I need? Why did I come in here? Okay, I needed to craft a slingshot because apparently you can get something crazy like 30k bells out of a present. So there are these little presents that fly across your island and you have to use the slingshot to uh, to knock them out of the sky. I am gonna actually keep crafting because I need to make myself another axe and I also need to make myself another net as well. So let's get both of those done and then we'll go see Blathers because we learned in the last part that Blathers was coming back to my island, which is very exciting. He is hands down next to Brewster and KK. Probably my favorite Animal Crossing character. I love Sable and Mabel, don't get me wrong, love the Able sisters, but there's just something special about Blathers, even though he does blather on a lot, and most of the time I do try and skip what he says. So let's grab these bad boys. Oh, the way that she climbed up there, that was so cute. These are some things that I have caught. I've caught some fish, I've caught some more common butterflies. I think he's already gonna have a lot of these, um, but hopefully we can give at least some to Blathers and he'll be impressed with us. Oh, here he is, look at his little face. He looks like little Indiana Jones over here. Hi, buddy. Ooh, a pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Aha! Could it be that you are Molly? The personage? The personage? Do I say personage? <laughs> Who chose the location for this tent? That's right, it's me. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with 
Nary? With nary a ruffled feather. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I am determined to open a museum here and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. I welcome you with an open wingspan, blathers. I know I have arms, okay? But I like to pretend I'm an animal when I'm playing Animal Crossing. It's the one time I allow my fursona to come out. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave to Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed sec to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display, that is another matter. Which is where you come in, what what, of course. I thought, I thought I would be drawn into this in some way, blathers. I plan to not only display insects and fish, but fossils too. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say. I can't just hop over it, you say? Ooh, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me, Molly, whilst I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. All right, let's grab out our phones so we can get this, uh, this sorted. Oh, hey, Phoebe, you need to get gone. You do. With wood gathered from soul spray, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. Can it be used to propel yourself across the river? I sent DIY schematics for a shovel. Yes, go on, blathers. My main mans. Yes, you have blathered on. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items. 15. Okay, so that's our goal for either this part or for... To yesterday's stream. Wow. I'm not time traveling in Animal Crossing, but by gosh, does it seem like I'm time traveling in real life, which is very, very confusing. So we need to get 15 different species for blathers. And luckily, there is a fish right here. I'm definitely finding this harder to play using a pro controller, which is weird. I don't know, I feel like the pro controller, like joystick, is less sensitive for some reason than my joy cons. Uh, maybe it's just because it's like a different feel and I don't really play with a um, pro controller too often. So I think I'm just gonna have to like get used to it, I guess. But we got a mackerel, drop it. Drop it, baby. What do we have in my pockets? Oh man, we have a Bitterling and- oh yeah, I was meant to give him the ones that we already have. Duh, I filled my pockets with fish. Better not keep them in there or else I'll be getting funny looks. I'll be a bit smelly. Oi oi blathers, I got some fish for you already, dude. Yeah, put your book away. Please let me know if you have items to donate or need assistance. Make a donation. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Oh, I can't have multiples. He might already have one of these. The repugnance. Good heavens. I must maintain my composure. I beg your pardon. Bugs. I do detest them. Still, there's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended. Uh, no, I'm good. Yes, yes. Understood. <laughs> Any hoot. My sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best care here. By the way, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated, and if so, might I take it for you? I got something. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Ooh, there's a message in the bottle over here. Let's open this bad boy up. It contains a crafting recipe, okay. Dearest reader, God, this is fancy. Are you paying proper attention to your appearance, darling? A mirror can help you put yourself together. I've included a DIY mirror recipe in this bottle. Do make one for yourself when the mood strikes. Best wishes, Cleo. <laughs> That's how I imagine. Wooden table mirror. All right, let's learn it. Also, fun fact, in case you guys didn't know this, you can repeatedly shake a tree and it will drop many a branch for you. So if you were like roaming around your island looking for brand new trees to shake because you needed twigs, just shake 
the same tree and you'll get some uh, some branches out of it. Just a little a little handy dandy tip for you if you are new to Animal Crossing. Also, I did not know that because crafting is new. You've never really needed like branches before now in Animal Crossing, so I never really knew that that was a thing that you could do, but it gets you like a fair few branches. Like I just got like 10 out of those. So let's go and make this shovel. All right, I got both hardwood and softwood from chopping trees. So let's go back up here. Um, we are gonna craft a flimsy shovel. Let's do it. All right, and then hopefully I did count correctly and we do have enough softwood as well for a vaulting pole, yes. So this means that we can now access more of our island. That's one thing that this game has done really, really well in my opinion, is kind of not like rushing you through the first like week of gameplay. Like it makes you feel as if you have to come back to keep upgrading your island, to keep like discovering new things about your island which I very much enjoy so now we can go whoop like that I know that there's one fossil over on the other island but let's let's check out this area first I actually haven't seen this part so it's gonna be nice to see oh there's a fossil thing over there but I think this fish is gonna be a mackerel it looks like a mackerel. Place your bets now. What fish are we gonna get? It's definitely a mackerel. Nibble harder, damn it. I called it. I knew it was gonna be a mackerel. Oh, bloody hell. Our oh, things are full. Um, We will just drop that shell, I guess. I'm gonna drop some wood, actually. Drop item drop item. I need to get the inventory space upgrade ASAP. So here we have our very- oops. If I could get it, then we have our very first fossil. There we go. Fossil number one. I wonder what fossil it is. We're gonna have to take it to Blathers because I want to do, like I mentioned, I want to do like a little bullet journal where I talk about like my island experience just so I can go back and look at it. I think it would be quite cute. Um, but we need to know what our first fish was and what our first bug was, which I think I have on video. If you guys want to comment down below what our first fish and bug was, that would be amazing. <laughs> also, let me know what yours were. If you are writing down like what you got, then let me know. I know a lot of you got pears and were disappointed with pears. <laughs> Which I'm actually really glad I didn't get pears. Come on, Molly. Ooh, I landed right on one. That was handy. We also need to dig up the golden boy as well. Oh no, now I'm not gonna remember which fossil. Okay, let me check where it is in my inventory. Oh, I think this one was the first one. Okay, I'm gonna assume that that was my first fossil because it's in my inventory, like left to right common sense would make me think that that was my first fossil. Also, what we can do now is I never can get eight things out of these rocks and everyone's told me to build these behind me. So we are gonna try and get. Oh no, I messed it up. God damn it. I messed that up so bad. I moved too much. I can never get eight out of them, but that was quite a lot of iron nuggets. Oops, didn't mean to do that. No, I'm meant to dig this hole back in. Bloody hell, I just wasted my shovel like twice over. I was so close to doing it that time. I think I just don't touch my control. I think that's where I am going wrong with getting those out of my, uh, my rocks. All right, so we got the third fossil. I think we get four a day on this lowland area of my island. Oh, this is massive. <gasps> this is a nice island layout. I like it. There are no rock pools though. I haven't seen any rock pools, which is very gutting because I personally love rock pools. The amount of hours I used to spend as a child fishing in rock pools, like with my niece was intense. It's how I got such a good suntan when I was younger. If I wasn't wearing my wetsuit, that was. Um, I cannot find this four flipping 
fossil ladders. Are you ready? This is like, this is the big time right now. You're going in my bullet journal. This is going to be immortalized forever in writing. So you best do me proud. It better be a good fossil. Wait, can he not assess fossils right now? Oh wait, I think I have to click donate and then he has to assess it. Ooh. <laughs> Indeed, there can be no doubt this is a fossil. Incredible, wonderful, remarkable, never been done before, out of this world. <laughs> My intuition was impeccable. There are fossils on this island. But I digress. Back to the matter at wing. I must assess your fabulous find. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Hoo hoo! After some consideration, I can safely declare this fossil to be some amber. Ooh. My feathers, what a fabulous fossil. This amber would be a sizable step forward towards opening the museum. I wonder, would you perhaps consider donating this ancient relic to the cause? Yeah. Ooh, how wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved amber. Dear me, I might give you a short presentation on the topic. I am quite knowledgeable, you know. Um, I'm, I'm a wee bit busy. Oh, he looks so sad. I'm sorry, Blathers. I didn't mean to disappoint you. But I do have more. This also applies to the fossil you've brought at this time, but only a specialist such as myself can appraise a newly discovered fossil to determine its proper designation. From now on, do please bring any fossils of unknown origins you find. Whether or not you choose to donate it is up to you. So I have some good news. We still need to give seven more donations to Blathers to actually like allow the museum to be built, which I probably am gonna do on stream, I'm not gonna lie, but we actually reached 5,000 Nook miles. So let's go talk to Mr. Nook. Ah, Molly, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears, about my moving fees. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Very well, you owe 5,000 miles. I'm ready to pay, baby. Thank you so much. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. With that, your move-in fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both, hmm? Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? It's fine, I guess. It's great, or it could be better. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Just fine? But consider doing fine on a formerly deserted island is actually quite good, hmm? Together, we're reshaping this barren Westella. I mean, pristine paradise in- Oh, he's wasteland. <laughs> I thought that was just a word that I never heard before, but he was saying wasteland, I'm such a noob. Into a lovely community. Ah yes, but we mustn't rest on laurels. Perhaps there is more we could do. Oh no, this is where we get into debt with him forever. Building custom homes. There are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in a roommate location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs. But with zero interest, that is one good thing about Tom Nilk. He never puts an interest on your debts. One more thing to share. We have a Miles Redemption service for the Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook Stop, you'll be able to redeem your miles. Yes, that means I can get my freaking inventory upgrade, which I really, really need. But let's take out that loan so we can get our house. Have you made a decision about home ownership? Ready to move forward? Yes, I am ready. Just give me my damn house. Come on, man. 98,000 bells. What do you think? That's nothing. Let's do it. Thank you for your business. By the way, you get the chance to choose from eight different colors for the roof. We are gonna go for yellow. You have a yellow roof. I'll get that order in for you. One more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook mileage program upgrade. Just give me one momento. 
without your phone, Molly. I love how they base them on apples. It's like when um, Nickelodeon, in their like Nickelodeon thematic universe, they used to have pear phones and stuff. Like all of their things were pears, and all of ours have little like nook leaves on them, which I just find adorable. Now, when you use the Nook Miles app, you'll have access to the Nook Miles Plus benefits, a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app. All right. Thanks for talking my ear off, Tom. I don't even have any ears. I probably do. I think Animal Crossing characters have ears. It's just my hair is covering them. Oh, yes. We get their 80 bonus miles and... Your account is now registered for Miles Redemption Service. So let's see what I have to save. Redeem Nook Miles. So for the tool ring is 800, which we are definitely gonna need. And the pocket organization is 5,000. So I'm gonna start saving for both of those. And I think that's where we're gonna end this part. Let me just get up my Nook Miles so I can show you the plus real quickly. Nook Miles Plus makes it even easier to earn miles as you go about enjoying island life. There are also special redemption options that only Nook Miles Plus members get. Please take advantage of this amazing opportunity. So if I press my plus button, you can see that these basically restock whenever you do them. So we have to catch a Crucian Carp, redeem Nook Miles, um, spend 5,000 bells, complete DIY projects and sell items. So these basically just like restock once you've completed them. So that's the Nook Miles Plus, but thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to this part, and I will speak to you all in the next part of Animal Crossing. Bye, guys!